I had my injury back in September 2009. I was racing motocross um, back home in New Zealand and overshot a jump. And I landed out on the flats and that uh, obviously did the spinal damage. Burst L1 fracture. I actually got into skiing two years after my accident. In 2011, I just went to a sports expo in my hometown. And there was a guy there that uh, was sort of showing off the sit ski and I went up to him and just inquired about it and asked heaps of questions. And yeah, I guess the rest is history. Sports, obviously, uh, it's been a big part of my life, like growing up from the age of, you know, five, playing rugby and skateboarding and uh, surfing, motocross, so it was extremely important for me to obviously have, you know, get back into a sport and um, I guess just give that direction back to you and give you a focus, um, I guess something to get out of bed for in the morning. You know, there was a period there where you're sort of feeling sorry for yourself and a little depressed, you know, like, you know, what's my life going to be like? Uh, but for me, obviously, sport dug me out of that hole. And, uh, yeah, that, I mean, sport's the biggest part of my life now and, and it allows me to get out of bed in the morning and, you know, strive to be one of the best skiers in the world. Uh, there's only so long that you can sort of feel sorry for yourself before you just got to get up off the couch and go get out there and do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you, so... So it's up to you to sort of get out there and um, push yourself.